Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP ZBook Power 16G11. To have a sneak peek at the internals of this workstation, you have to undo just five Phillips head screws. The ones on the bottom aren't captive while the others are. Pry the back behind the hinge cover with a thin plastic tool. When the clips are released, raise the plate close to the upper two edges to create gaps in these sections. Pop them, and then pry the sides and the front. This workhorse is equipped with an 83-watt-hour battery. To remove it, pull out the connector towards the battery and undo the six Phillips head screws that hold the unit in place. The capacity is enough for around 17 hours of video playback. The result is great for such a powerful machine. Our test was conducted with the Battery Saver preset activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu and the Smart Sense mode applied in the MyHP app. Each sodim has a metal cap on top which can be popped with a lever tool. According to HP, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The RAM modules are also cooled by thermal pads below the plates and beneath the sticks. In terms of storage, you can rely on two M.2 slots compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The pre-installed SSD is covered with a heat shield. A decently sized cooling pad is placed underneath the pre-installed NVMe drive. Our laptop lacks a W1 slot for optional 4G LTE connectivity, which should be positioned near the left fan. The Wi-Fi 6E card is on the right. The cooling comprises a pair of fans, one long, thick heat pipe shared between the CPU and the GPU, plus one more pipe for each chip. The system is complemented by two heat sinks and two large heat spreaders. Check out our full review on LaptopMedia.com.